Hey guys, back to Master Jedi here for another Star Wars figure review. A little pop up. Today I'm going to give you a look at the Vintage Collection Quinlan Voss. I was very happy to pick up this figure. Uh, I was a little indecisive on who, should, who I should get. I knew in advance I was going to get a bad guy. So I went on, I went on YouTube looking around and I found my guy that I kind of go to for my Star Wars reviews, uh, Sith Lord 299, or 229, I believe. Uh, I found his Facebook YouTube channel page and I asked him and he recommended either the Vintage Darth Maul, Qu Quinlan Voss, which I actually ended up getting, or the Luke, Sk yeah, Luke Skywalker lightsaber construction. So, I could not find either of those two figures, but I did find Quinlan Voss, so I was very happy. So, uh, I don't really, I'm not a big, big fan of this image, it's a cool image, but I think they could have done a little better. See, it's just a scene of him zoomed up where he was in the bar. Uh, the other Phantom Menace, the destruction wave. A lot of guys, I think this might be the, one of the biggest waves that it came out with. So, they enough the packaging. Now I'm on to the figure itself. I just put them on the Galactic Baggage stand. Very cool figure. Everything is about spot on on him. I don't know if it's just me, but I think they improved a couple things on these figures. Like, I know the Darth Maul, when he first came out, his tattoos were off. And I was looking around, I, when I first saw him out, like, when I first first came out at Walmart, I saw him, I said, oh, I'm not going to get his tattoos are off. Went the next month to look at him again, see if that was really worth it, and the tattoos were all on I'm like, oh, that's weird. And I was looking at Sith Lord 229 or 299, I think, I believe it's 229. I was looking at his video, and then his Queen of Us looked like he had longer hair, but this one's a little shorter, I kind of like that. But, uh, I think it's very cool, very cool head sculpt. Almost looks a little old, though. I saw the Clone Wars look of me, it looked too, it looked young, almost like a teenager, and then I see this and it looks old, so I'm like, hmm, a little confused on that. But still, very cool, couldn't have lost. Uh, put that stand down, give you a look at the accessories he comes with. First, the most important accessory, he comes with his lightsaber, with the shorter hilt than the Clone Wars version. He also comes with his unlit lightsaber, which can clip onto his belt. And he also comes with a feature that the Clone Wars one didn't come with, which is see the little holster, this little blaster. Put mine down too far in there. But you also get a little blaster that slots nicely into his little holster. Now on to the figure stripped down into the non-accessories. So very cool. You see, he has some hand wrappings. Very cool. All around. This is, a, I believe, a new sculpt. Let's see, it has this little holster, which has a, it, it can't, it doesn't really show up in camera, but it's a little star button on it. But it's like, very cool. Really like this figure. He looks good on my little Jedi shelf. Check the little Jedi section of the shelf. See, he has the dreadlocks and the facial tattoos. Very cool. So, yeah, that's about it for now. I believe enough fig the figures that I want to get from this line, the ones that I really wanted to get, like I got the Val Droid, that was a cool little bonus to my collection. And I also wanted the, the original two I wanted to get were the Queen of Voss, which I just got now, and the Vintage Collection Darth Maul. So I hope, hopefully, I will be able to get a review for that in, at some point this year. So, this is 50 Message Jedi. May the Force be with you.